Tony, I just have to start off with the obvious. Just how exciting is this? How exciting are you to have Grizzlies playoff basketball back in Memphis? Oh, it's definitely giving me those playoff vibes, 2011. It's a great feeling to see this young team, you know, surprise a lot of people, you know, you know, sit the uh, former champs down, you know, and great players like Steph and Dre, you know, this young rising ball club. I mean, sky's the limit. I love watching. There's nothing quite like playoff basketball inside FedEx for him. What do you think this is going to be like for your former teammate, Mike Conley, coming back and, and experiencing the other side of playoff basketball in Memphis? Before the season, you know, I was always saying, like, I want Mike to win one. I want, I want Mark one one to see Mike over there. It was like I wanted to see you do good, but uh, not over our body. You know what I mean? So, and it, it was one of those type of things. And uh, I don't know. Seeing him out there is odd. I know it's gonna be pretty exciting coming back. Thing is, I don't know if we're gonna boo him <laughs> or we're gonna give him a standing note. Probably give him one standing note and boos after that. I don't know. <laughs> And a big reason why the Grizzlies have made it to this point has been the resurgence, the, the reinvention of Dylan Brooks. We've seen a lot of nicknames tossed around over the last year for him, Dylan the villain, the most popular. But I wanted to ask you about one of them, the grind son. Do you, as the grind father, claim Dylan Brooks as the grind son? Dylan, a good friend of mine. Definitely, definitely, definitely. He always could be part of my family at any cost. When you lock down a guy like Steph Curry, and make it difficult for them, and make it difficult for them to even advance at that point. Uh, it's almost like uh, you make a superstar have to be a super, super, superstar, and once they fail at that, um, you can crown him. You can crown him. He definitely got first team all defense in his in his gene. I can't say that, uh, but for the most part, man, I don't want it to get caught up into being a grandson. I just want to keep him, keep him motivated like that when he see a superstar and everybody's writing them off that's great and grand there itself you know what i mean uh, wait a minute hold on do i look invisible and that's the that's the part that i like you get right up in your face i always say a conversation like this is cool right but if i get to talking close into this into this screen you like hold on T. are you serious it's the same thing in basketball man and um i think he he, he takes pride on the defensive end man and we're going to need him to do that for the rest of the playoffs. And, um, man, he, he's been impressive lately. Something that, that clearly does have uh, – there's a similarity between both eras is the attitude to an extent. I mean, you see – I agree. Uh, I agree. I agree. You see Dylan Brooks. I mean, obviously, we, we talked about that. But, I mean, you saw in, in game one, Desmond Bain, the end of the third quarter, holding his shot there and then getting right in people's face, Kyle Anderson. There's a level of confidence and – and lack of fear that you don't usually see with a team this young, especially the youngest team to make the playoffs in a decade. Is, is that fair? Most definitely, man. I, I, I like the, the dominance and the attitude and, you know, the way they demand for the respect. I mean, I just look at it like that. You know, I don't take nothing from it. I, I like it, man. I like it, man. And um, these guys are going to taste this, this, this success and, and only want more. So when you talk about great and grand new generation, Yes, I, I believe they can. Is it the grindhouse still? Should, should we still be calling it the grindhouse? First team all defense, I approve. It's still a grindhouse. I want to see some excitement. I mean, not we already know you're going to get from, from, from the ball club. I'm saying Grizz Nation, you know what I mean? I want to see everybody excited, man. You know, not sitting down, growl, towels, growling. That energy there itself is... It, it used to do something for me, man. I mean, I like if I if I had any jitters in my stomach before the game, I knew Grizz Nation had my back when they was rattling them towels, man. And it, and it turned my energy bar up tremendously. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I definitely want to see introductions. Uh, but, uh, man, it's that time of the season. It is that time. And I, I really appreciate you taking a little bit of time to talk with us about it. Uh, enjoy tonight, and, and hopefully we'll, we'll be seeing the Grizzlies win on the other end of it. Oh, man, much love. All heart, man. Thanks for having me.